Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So I'm trying to keep it down because it's super early and I don't want to make my neighbors mad, but we're going to be working on the Chevy and I'll explain why. Okay, so with the Chevy here, um, had a little bit of a complication come up when dad had the truck for a couple days. Apparently, it came undone inside the door and now the handle doesn't work. So we're gonna try to work on figuring out how exactly we're gonna get the door panel off and see if we can try to figure that out and fix it real quick. We did get the entire assembly out of there. It really wasn't that bad. The hardest part was getting the sinking uh, manual window crank out of there. But other than that, it wasn't too terrible. And you can see the handle literally just fell off and I picked it up now. Um, and where it broke was actually, where was that at? The handle was back in here. Right here, okay. So that's where the handle snapped. Anybody who owns one of these trucks knows that at some point these usually go out and break. I actually have a buddy who has one and uh, his stinking broke a couple years after he got it. Obviously it wasn't new, it was a, still a 20 year old truck at the time. Over time they just snap. You know, door handle issues are a normal thing on old vehicles eventually. But so I'm gonna try to call around town, see if I can find a new one of these and get it slapped here in the truck. And we're off in the Platinum. By the way, if you guys want this truck, every $5 is five entries to win. It's our five for five deal. We've never done this before for a diesel truck. Five bucks, five entries. And yes, every $5 more you spend is another five entries. So if you want that deal, that deal ends in I think three days. If you want to get in on that, it ends December 1st at 11.59 p.m., pretty much midnight going into December 2nd. So December 1st is the last day to get that deal. The giveaway ends December 8th. So you guys are down to, I believe, the last 11 days to enter to win this truck or my 1997 Ram 2500-12L five-speed Frosty, which is a beast. If you guys want to have a chance to take your pick between those two trucks, enter today. This giveaway is almost over. Anyways, let's get over to AutoZone. I did call them and they said, yes, we have two different options. One is gray or black. And the other one is like navy blue. We're gonna go in there, see what we got, and then uh, grab a handle and get on out of there. So we did get our new door handle assembly, and it's pretty much easy. You pretty much just like fasten it back in the way that one came out. You hook up your linkage in there. That rod goes to this one. There's one down in there a little bit further. It goes to the bottom one right there, which controls your locking mechanism. And then it's pretty much good to go and button back in. Obviously this one's dirty and old and faded. This one's new, but it is still technically the same color as the original interior. Hopefully we can get that done real quick and then we've got some other stuff to show you. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's get this done and then get it all buttoned back up so that Jennifer, when she picks up her truck, her handle works and she can get in and out of her truck okay. Well, we did get that handle fixed and I gotta straighten out my hat here, but anyways, it went from being horribly broken to pieces to completely fix. And let me show you how that looks right now. Open the no problem. You get the cab, close the door, locks, unlocks, handle works flawlessly. No hesitation now. So nothing to worry about, Jennifer. We got your truck all taken care of and the handle is now in working order yet again like it should be. So we gotta go actually, and we're gonna run the Ford to get some work done because let me show you something, it kinda sucks. So one day I was out here and I was gonna put some stuff in the tailgate of the truck and I'm over here, I'm like trying to open the tailgate. I'm like, it doesn't work. Why well, doesn't it work? I'm like, well maybe it's just locked. I'm like, I thought I unlocked it. Come up here, it doesn't work. So the tailgate about two weeks ago stopped dropping and needs to get fixed. So I'm actually taking it to a Ford certified dealership right now and they're going to you know do what they do over there and fix Fords all day so I'm gonna take this over there and have the tailgate fixed I don't know why we can't just stick to like you know something simple like oh I don't know this whole handle thing even though hers is locked right now so not a good representation but you pull a handle and it's all mechanical and it drops versus this it's cool in theory to not have to actually do any work and drop your tailgate but in all honesty, I want my tailgate to work. I've actually got to start the wife's truck up because we got to run that Ford to get fixed. We're going to take her truck because I've also got to get some wheels and tires thrown in the bed of it. Just got the 38 by 1450s and 
the 16 by 10s ready to go for Frosty. Now Frosty's not with us right now. I don't know when Frosty will be back. It could be, you know, tomorrow. It could be in a week. So I don't know. But I want to get the 16 by 10s and 38s on that truck at some point here within the next handful of videos, so you guys can see what that's like. But regardless whether you get to see them on video before the giveaway ends or not, you will have the option to pick between the 38 by 1450 Toyos. MTs or the 35 inch Furies and the 24 by 14s. Some people have very different tastes, but honestly, I think the 38s and the 16 by 10s are going to look really, really good. And they're going to be totally usable and they're going to totally clear just like the other set because, yeah, they're taller three inches, but they're half of the stance. So it's not going to stick the entire, you know, wheel out the side of the truck. It's going to be more like 20% of the wheel sticking out, 25% of the wheel sticking out the side of the truck. Um, but it's mostly going to be like an all meaty, big, aggressive tire, not just like you know, all rim. So, depends on what you like, but we're gonna go get these dropped off. We're gonna get the Ford dropped off. We might come back and do some work on the second gen Longhorn. So we did get the Ford dropped off, and they said they're gonna try to fix that tailgate within the next day or two. They said it's just a stupid button issue that they've been having with those trucks, but they are gonna try to get it fixed here real quick. And then also, we did get the 38s dropped off to get mounted and balanced to the 16 by 10s, which we will have very soon. And then also, today for this truck, now that we're done with the Chevy handle, dropping the Ford off, dropping the wheels and tires off. I want to get the front bumper off this truck. We do have some parts sitting around in the shop here that are for this truck to get it wrapped up and finished. That being, you know, bumpers front and rear, we gotta put the bed on, and just a bunch of other stuff. But real quick, I want to work on getting the front bumper taken off because the goal is to get this truck to paint and body by tomorrow. That is my goal, is to get the truck dropped off tomorrow, which means we've got a lot of work to get done in the meantime to make sure that that can even happen. Even though we don't have the hood in yet, I think what I'm gonna do is still drop it off, and then I'm just gonna take the hood with the hood assembly and the grill, the paintable grill and all that stuff, and just take that and drop it off when it comes in. We do have the paintable grill and all that stuff and the hood latch and all that stuff but just because he's got to get started on this truck. There's not much that he really has to do in terms of body work other than, you know, it's got a little dent here. And then it's got a little rust you can kind of see starting at the very bottom of the door. It's not any kind of like major rust or rot, but it's just a little spot starting down there on both sides that he's gonna fix, but the rockers aren't bad, the fenders aren't bad, nothing like that. But anyhow, so let's get to ripping off this front bumper. And then after we get that ripped off, that'll pretty much mean that everything is ready to get bolted back onto the truck. And also, I like your guys' feedback from the video before about you know the color and what to go with and all that stuff. Some guys say to go back with the same paint code and you know the two-tone. Some guys say the maroon you know with flake is a good idea. Some guys would just do a completely different color. Uh, but for me, I think I'm still based on the feedback and based on you know what I think I should do. I think my best bet is going to be going with the original maroon just because that's what's in, you know, pretty much every other part of the truck. And then just seeing if you can add some more flake to it. And I really think that's just gonna be a really good look. Cause honestly, you guys don't even know what it really could look like because you're only seeing the faded, you know, bad part of the stuff. You're not seeing like the new fresh, you know, glittery looking paint, which is what will really make the big difference when it comes to the appearance of this truck. But man. Everything else though is looking real good and clean. It's all ready to go. So we're gonna get to working on this and getting this front bumper ripped off. Okay, so we did get the bumper ripped off here and I'm going to actually end up this bolt back here with, you know how they have like little square heads on them and I think they're called carriage bolts, but I, I don't know. I could be completely wrong by that. But anyways, it just is spinning around in here. It's not coming off. So what I'm gonna do is take the metal grinder grind that off right here. And then what I'm gonna do is actually keep this assembly. And the reason for that is I'm gonna bolt it back on here, right there, and then just reconnect the horns through the wiring so we can still keep our horn on the truck. And then of course that plug right there will just plug back in there. So no big deal with that. I'm just going to, I just had to cut it real quick to get the marker off because it was just hanging on there and all that weight. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing for the horn setup. But in terms of the truck for now, this is where we're at. Front bumpers off, rear bumpers off, beds off, all that stuff. And in the next video, I'm gonna be putting pretty much everything on the truck except for probably the hood because, well, the hood is uh, <laughs> not here yet, so I can't put it on. But anyways, in terms of everything else though, we're pretty much gonna be, get, gonna be getting our new front bumper on, our new rear bumper on, the bed put back on. I, I mean, just tons of stuff, tons of stuff that we just need to get on the truck so we can get it 
to paint and body. So anyways guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget, you guys only have three days left to get five entries for every $5 you spend and that deal ends on December 1st. So stay tuned, get those entries in while you can. The giveaway for the 2017 Platinum and Frosty end on December 8th. There's not much more than a week left for that giveaway and I would hate for you guys to miss out on the opportunity to own a truck for literally five bucks. So thank you so much for all the love and the support watching the videos. Make sure you hit that thumbs up because it helps other people find the content and know who we are and what we do. Do not forget to subscribe, which is that red button that says subscribe under the video or on the channel. Click that, turn it gray, hit the bell, turn on notifications, stay tuned. We got a lot coming and I cannot wait to show you guys the transformation of this truck along with the others. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.